next step is to place the facing so that it lines up with the top of the apron. Now, rule of thumb is always gonna be um, right sides together. And when I mean that, I mean the outside of the fabric or the right sides should always face one another. What's gonna end up happening is once you've stitched your facing on there, when we turn it inside out, it'll get a finished, completed outside. So that's why we always make that rule. Um, it'll make a lot more sense once we actually put this together. But for now, let's go ahead and get that pinned in place. And then our next step will just be to attach these two pieces together and then we'll turn it inside out. That will give us a nice clean finished edge and it looks like my facing is just a tiny bit bigger than the actual apron pattern. That's okay. I'm just kind of stretching it a bit, making it fit. The main important part is that the ends are meeting the ends of the main apron piece. And there you have it. I'm gonna start off with one side and it's always gonna be the same rule. We're always gonna back stitch and we're always gonna line up with about the half inch mark for seam allowance. So hopefully you guys can see this okay. I'm gonna keep my pin cushion nearby so that I can get my pins out when I'm ready. And I'm actually going to shift this pin over a little bit. like I already had some shifting on my fabric so I want to make sure that it's not doing that before I start. to the corner remember we did this with the um, next drops as well but I want to use my um, crank on the side of the machine to make sure my needle is down inside the machine so that I can lift my foot and rotate my fabric now I've done this a couple times before you want to make sure that you're lined up inside the corner close enough that um, you're still remaining a half inch away from the center. So that way, when I start sewing again, this is still gonna remain a half inch seam allowance like you see here. So this is that excess that we call that seam allowance. That's basically the seam that gets stitched in and that's what allows us to have a finished non-raw edge. So I'm gonna continue on. there again is where I'm gonna have the seam allowance so that it stays half an inch. <clears throat> then I'm doing my rotation. If you're feeling a little bit of tightness like you can't get this out, this is where I usually will um, go back to rotating my, um, my dial on the side of the machine. So this will allow me to kind of pump the needle in and out and I'll kind of go back and forth a little bit until I have a little bit more looseness. Now that I've got this finished and sewed, you can see there's quite a lot of seam allowance here that'll create some bulk on the outside. So I'm gonna just trim the corners like so 
this will just allow there to be a lot less fullness and bulk in the corners when I turn this inside out. I'm gonna make sure that I'm keeping those corners nice and crisp when I turn this inside out. You wanna make sure that you're turning those corners out into 90 degree angles and making them as crisp as possible. Then I'm going to press that top edge just to make sure it's nice and clean. And that's how you attach the facing.